You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. It's a good thing you're here. Because I saw you through the window and I was happy that I caught you this time coming to check on your nets. Mr. Princess Adadora. That's my name. The time has come for you to drop your rascality mm. and high handedness. What does that do, Sir You are my problem. And guess what? I'm beginning to solve you like a mathematics problem that you are. You might want to stay off my path or no. You really want to do that. We all know what your problem is. And we are going to solve In fact, we are solving it already. <laughs> oh no. News flash. The dots have finally connected and your evil secret plans have come to light. What nonsense are you talking about? Uh -huh. I have no plans against the royal family. Oh, oh, really? Not talk of secret ones. Well, I have you know that we now know, I know, that you brought that girl here so she can scheme her way into my brother's heart, become his woman, and consequently become the queen of our land. Will you deny, deny it? That is a baseless accusation you just made against me. And I want you to withdraw it now. Never. Not only will I not withdraw it, it is not baseless. I do know your plans now. And I will go extra miles to stop you. You are making a mistake. You are the mistake yourself. And I feel sorry for you already. She's so full of herself oh, I, yeah. And she don't want to change your life yeah. Come down and learn my ways Stop the hating, stop the minutes You should be loving your people And not hating your people You are a princess you should be in love and great joy, yeah. But the way they do, my princess, don't be so... Honestly, eh, I am bothered. I am bothered realizing that you have allowed yourself to be disturbed on the account of this unfounded allegation. Why? You call it unfounded. You know your daughter very well. For her to have said it, it means she is very sure. I am surprised hearing you say this. You yourself should know the man or no one can You know him. I know no, but you should know that people change. It is possible he has changed. And his crime is that he brought Mwogo into the palace for her to seduce our son so that he will marry her. That's his crime. And then she will become the queen through the back door. No, Uzole is all. That woman, no, 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 hold on, hold on. Before you begin to point your hand, oh, just stop it. The son of mine you are talking about, is it the same son of mine who you accuse of being gay? Well, I've confirmed he is not gay. He was just focusing on his job. Mm. He was just focusing on his job. Mm. I misunderstood that. The same way. You just allow that, that to confuse you. Listen, eh? if our son has finally decided to make Mwogo his wife, I am going to support him with everything I have. That young woman of our kingdom who was able to transform our daughter right before your eyes into a decent woman of Umbanato should be trusted to make a win. But your majesty, uh, you... I, I have come to the very end of this very discussion. You were trying to tell me something. So I decided to bring you out here away from other prying eyes and ears. Well, 
What I wanted to tell you is what anybody could hear. I mean, I'm not hiding anything. So, what is it? Do you know the true virtue of an African woman? Excuse me. Are you all right? Are you sick in the head or something? Wait, you want to lecture me about what it takes to be an African woman? Is that what you're trying to do? I am not here to lecture you on anything, but I just want to remind you of something that you may have forgotten. And what could that be? Excessive drinking of alcohol is not the true virtue of an African woman. Everyone in this palace thinks you are influencing the princess negatively. But I've come to make my findings and I realize that the reverse is the case. She is the one influencing you negatively. I think you can change all that. Why are you telling me all this? I like you. And I consider you a sister. You are a young woman. A young maiden of Mbanato Kingdom. I know you are praying for a husband and to start up a family someday. People in this environment frown at the lifestyle you are living. And believe me, a man who must have come to seek for your hand in marriage will see these characters and deviate from you. I think and I believe you can change your ways. And by doing so, you might heal your friend indirectly. Like her not to take my calls. Oh, oh, she, as she found out about my movements with other girls in the palace. I told you I'll handle her. Princess, that baby's not my problem. And what is? I just realized that I've been making a fool of myself all along. You're not making sense. I've been living a borrowed life all this while. And I I think it's time I put a stop to it. Why? Look. Princess, the life of excessive alcohol, smoking, partying, clubbing, that's not the life of a virtuous woman. I mean, nature made us to be loyal, loyal creatures, I mean, humble. And not all this rascal kind of lifestyle we are living in the name of education and, and, and exposure. I can't believe I've been doing all that. No, I can't believe you're the one saying this. So you spend just a couple minutes with that idiot and you start to sound like a broken record. I mean, Brenda, can you hear yourself talk? She just made me realize what I've been doing all along, and it's all wrong. If I, 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 I can't even believe that's the life I was I was living. I mean, she's full of wisdom. Yes, she she opened my eyes to the realities of life. Now I understand why you said she's affiliated by a deity or something. 
She's really full of Winston Princess, and I think you should take her serious. I think you're full of shit right now. And that you should get out too. That's right, girl. Get the hell out of my room, out of my house. Yeah. And she don't yeah. want to yeah. change your life. Hit it. Come down the land now. What's going to happen now? I've been calling and calling. You don't even pick my calls. Neither do you try to call back. You are right. And I don't intend to pick your call ever again. Wait, why? Your father warned me to stay away from you. And that is actually what I am doing right now. Come on, that's not true. Do you know who is your father? Maybe you should go verify from him. Did my father give you any reasons on to why you should stop seeing me? He said I am a distraction to you. <laughs> distraction? How, why would my father say a thing like that? Is he mad? What? Uh, sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to come out that way. I'm sorry. Chuma, I am afraid. Listen, we have to... Listen, babe, babe. Forget, forget about everything my father has said. I love you. And that's all that matters most. Chuma, we have to end this relationship. <laughs> Look, you're, over, you're overreacting, you're overreacting. Okay, do, do you know what will happen? Give me till the end of the weekend and I promise I'll fix this. There's nothing to fix. Nothing. You cannot fix anything. Would you, would you, would you wait, nothing please. to fix. Let's talk this out. Why would that man not just allow me to live my life? Greetings, my friends. Greetings. How are you? I'm, I'm well, my prince. My, my prince. Please, my prince, let go of me. Someone, some, someone might just walk in. Listen, listen, listen. I found in you what I've not seen elsewhere. No. So relax, okay? Okay, my prince, but you, you still have to let me go. On one condition, promise me you'll come see me tonight. Okay, okay, my prince. I have the right to like anyone, so don't go there. By close of work today, meet me in my chambers. We'll have a private discussion. Mom, with all due respect, it won't work. Because I already know what you want to say. Yes. It's about what Princess Adadi Aroma is blabbing. That Morgo hypnotized me, that I'm under a spell. None of the above is true, okay? I love her and she's my choice. I saw in that girl what I've never seen in any other. So please, each and every one of you should respect my choice and decision. Thank you. The son of mine you are talking about, is it the same son of mine who you accuse of being gay? Well, I've confirmed he is not gay. He was just focusing on his job. <laughs> I misunderstood that. The same way. You just allowed that, that to confuse you. Listen, eh? If our son has finally decided to make Mwogo his wife, I am going to support him with everything I have. That young woman of our kingdom, who was able to transform our daughter right before your eyes into a decent woman of Umbanato, should be trusted to make a win. 
But your majesty, I, you... I, I have come to the very end of this very discussion. I am confused. I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to do. I don't know why you like interfering into my affairs. Whatever I do with a girl is none of your business. Chuma, you are my son. You are still living under my roof. And that's the reason you keep dabbling into my affairs. Papa, if you want me out of your house, you tell me I'll go rent a house and be a man of myself. Look at you. Do you have money anyway? No, have you saved even a couple since you started working? Look at you. Papa. I love her. That girl means the world to me and... You are a fool to be talking to me about love. No, what do you know about love? Uh, listen, you have to stop whatever you are doing with that girl and concentrate on your new job. Do you understand? Papa, whatever I do with that girl is part of my new job. Look, let me, just let me be. You said there is something you want us to discuss. Yes. I am here. Father, I have found the woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. A woman. <laughs> Impressive. And uh, who is this lucky woman? She lives amongst us. Yeah, and who is she? Oh, God. <laughs> you have made a very perfect choice. Thank you, Father. And I'm going to support you every step of the way. But Mom has a different impression entirely. Well, a woman must always act in the woman that she is. But you have to forget about her. The important thing is that you have found someone. And you are going to marry the one you found. Thank you, Father. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Thank yeah. you, Father. My son. Thank you, Father. <laughs> this is nice. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Your Majesty, that you have taken a decision on that does not mean that you can't change your mind, especially when exposed to superior argument. And what is the superior argument here? That Mwogo does not befit our son. And your reason for reaching this conclusion is because she does not make up. Please, can you let her be? Please. You know that our son just started seeing women. And he settled for the one available, mistaken Leo. Listen to me, I am going to disagree with you on this. Our son has been seeing women. I don't understand this argument that he just started seeing women. He has been seeing women in this palace. There is a woman named Brenda, who, to the very best of my knowledge, is the very definition of makeup. That Brenda has done everything possible to win our son and failed. On the strength of that alone, I want you to understand, our son settled for the one he loves, not the one available. Please, superior argument should tell you that that decision of his should be respected. Is it that I've been parading myself as your friend and I still don't know who you are? Like I really don't know you? Adora, please, let, let me understand this. How can you go to the extent of poisoning someone? How? That girl deserves whatever I dish out to her. I told her to stay the hell out with my brother. And what did she do? She stayed put. Now she has to pay the price of being stubborn. By killing her? Oh my god. By killing her? Don't be ridiculous. I'm not a murderer. Well, that is murder. Shut up. What do you know? Princess, that is murder. What is horrible. No. 
What I'm doing is just systematic, okay? She's not gonna die. She will, however, as a result of the potion, lose taste and interest for everything that has to do with the palace. Every affair of the palace, every relationship, be it casual and intimate or whatever, she'll be signed out from all those and then she will go away. She will run away like a little chicken. Whatever you just described, it doesn't sound like a scientific experiment or something you... Don't tell me that you got this idea or you're doing some magical potion from some Dibia. Don't tell me you are now visiting Dibias. What's wrong? If I visit Dibias, are Dibias not part of our culture? Princess. Anybody that crosses my path <laughs> pays dearly. And that does not exclude you, my friend. Cause she's so full of herself oh, I, yeah, and she don't. Toast to mission accomplished. Mm. Mm. Oh. 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 to the questions you're asking me. I, I don't know anything about colors or numbers or anything. I just called you because I saw your number online as one of the best makeup artists in our town. Okay, don't worry. I know exactly what to do. Just that I'm surprised that the palace made the wants to do makeup. Well, there's always the first time for everything. Uh, what, what, what are the things I need to get? Don't worry, I came with everything. Let's start. Doctor, how is she doing? My queen, her legs are paralyzed. What? It's only what I found out now. <laughs> what could be the cost? I don't know. I don't know. But do not worry, my king. I will return with other medical experts in order to assist in diagnosing the problem. No, um, Doc, I can bring her to your hospital. That saves time. The Lord that forbids the royal household from visiting the hospital cannot hold her back because she's the princess. Hey, hey, listen, Bonaya, do not blow this out of proportion. This is a serious issue and this medical doctor is doing her best already. I love her. Thank you. Please. Thank you, sir. I'll come back later today, sir. We are waiting. We are waiting. How could she be paralyzed? Your Majesty. I am seriously thinking that we should involve Onowu in this. I don't understand. What has the Onowu got to do with this? Onowu is not a medical expert. I don't think this is a medical issue. Mom, 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 please, please. 
This is not time to exaggerate, okay? I suggest we let the medicals do their job. Uh, Dr. Ho, having concluded a uh, scan and a medical examination with your medical team, what did you find out? Your Majesty, medically there is nothing wrong with her legs. It is beginning to appear as if my wife is right after all. My king, how do me? Doctor Hope, you have to excuse us. I will send for you when I need you. Okay, Majesty. Thank you, sir. Your Majesty. My wife started immediately to suspect that this sickness may have a kind of a spiritual coloration. Based on what Dr. Hope just said now, I feel she, she has a point. I know what to do. I know exactly what to do. They have a saying in Ebo land. Divya Woloza. Mother Buru Divya. Which means something else was triggered and the gods allowed another to happen. The great man of Umbanato, there is something I need to explain to you. We have a situation, and that is why the Ono brought you because he knows you are the only one who can resolve this. I am pleading with you. Can you explain to us exactly what happened and the reason you asked that everybody should come here? Adade Orama. The princess of Mbanato Kingdom has done something very bad. And that provoked the gods of our land. They are responsible for this. But they can still show her mercy if only she will confess. Adadi Orama, Mwam, Kedivi Mel. What did you do? Adam Nia. I tried to kill her. Huh? What? I tried to kill her. You tried to kill who? You tried to kill her with what? Speak! She was about to eat her food. I asked her to go get me something. When she left, I slipped something into her food. But the plan was not to kill her. I didn't want her to die. I just. I wanted the charm to elicit a level of hatred in her for everyone in this palace. So much so that she'll eventually leave. Instead, the charm rekindled a form of interest in her. Hey! Mm -mm. This is not my daughter at all. Adadi Orama. How can you reduce yourself to the point of using charms? Hey! She must apologize to Wago. And Wago must forgive her from the innermost part of her heart. Then she will feel her legs again. Wago, I'm sorry. 
I'm very sorry. Now I realize that you had nothing but pure intentions for me. But I was too caught up in my own hype to see what you were trying to do. Please forgive me. I have since come to believe that indeed you are affiliated to the deity. Damn, sir. I need to correct an impression here. The maid here, she is a normal maid who can become married and build a family. That is not true. The Onou said that she, she certainly has an affiliation with the central deity. Otherwise, how do you explain that she got saved? No. That is why they said, make her while the sun shines. The king saw the danger looming. That is why she was saved. Oh, yes. When I noticed the movement between Mwogo and my son and the level of hatred it generated in the palace, I was convinced from the depth of my heart that danger looms. As a result of that, I, I made the steps. I don't know this maiden here, but for the king to bring her before me means she is very important. Exactly. What do you want me to do for her, your highness? As I say, I want you to protect this maiden by exposing her to the cardinal forces of Eke, Uriel, Alpha, and Nkwa. The staff of the kings of Mbanato you are having is the gross summation of the powers of the kings of this land. You can use it to protect anyone you want. I know. And I have done that already. But I still need you as the chief priest to further protect her. You see, eh? The gods of this land, to the best of my knowledge, are beginning to dismantle the very deadly allegation leveled against my son by the mother. And this maiden here is the one they are using for that. I am aware that uh, because of what she is doing now, that there are enemies in the palace and even outside the palace that are planning to bring her down because they don't want her to succeed. That is why I brought her before you for this protection because I want her to be above all the plans of the enemy. I want her to be protected from all evils. The maiden I'm seeing here is already protected by the staff of the kings of Mbanato Kingdom. Mm. Even if she goes through fire, she cannot be harmed. She is already protected by the gods. You rose against the one that is under protection of the staff of your fathers. And the staff has risen up against you to show you that mortals are nothing without the gods. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That you're um, my most gorgeous princess. I have forgiven you from the depth of my heart. <sighs> even before you asked. Thank you. For to err is human and to forgive is divine. Yes, indeed. I forgive you. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you so much. This is the woman that completes me. She is my choice. Do you have any problem with that? No. No, no. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay.